another flawless introduction. My God, I need to get a job doing professional audio mixing because I know when to end the song just just perfectly. Just, just right on cue. Boomer Jim fucking that tech up again. Well, happy, happy uh, Easter Sunday to you, chat. Hopefully things have been going well for you. Uh, with the exception of anybody in the audience that might be in Sri Lanka, I think your Easter Sunday probably went okay. Uh, might have gone uh, better than some other places. Now, originally, we had scheduled uh, David Snade, the actor who played Bandar, to come on today. That's a bit of my fuck up. I hadn't realized it was Easter Sunday when I scheduled him. And to anybody that followed it over on StreamMe uh, would remember that I was in the process of getting hold of a couple copies of his films, Sphere of the Lycanthrope and other things, and I'd kind of forgotten to do that. And when we talked today, um, you know, he wanted to discuss the films, and I can't really discuss them if I haven't seen them. So I'll be ordering those to take a look at them. He'll be on in two weeks' time. That's that's all on me. That's all my fuck up. David's a, a nice guy, uh, willing to reschedule. So we'll be doing that next Sunday. I know it's terrible. It is awful. Did you see the art? I had everything all set up and ready to go. Uh, somebody made this. This would have been the perfect fucking background picture for this shit. Look at that. Look at that fucking image. It's made by the guy that does the. Um, he, he did a couple of different animations: Tie Fighter and R Type. I'm not sure if you've ever checked it out, but really fucking amazing stuff. So I was all, I was all hyped, but uh, fucked it up. Fucked it right into the ground. But I didn't want to blue ball people that were waiting for a stream today. I said I'd stream, so I decided to stream a little bit later on. A nice, relaxed, after Easter Sunday dinner stream. I know some of you in chat were saying, oh, Game of Thrones is on. Will you go watch the, uh, the Snow Zombies? I'm not really sure what that show is exactly about, I'll be honest with you. Something about snow zombies and waiting eight seasons for fucking dragons to show up. And some little girl getting gangbanged by Mongols. Right? Isn't that what happened? Didn't she go to the plains and then get fucked by dudes riding buffaloes? So, I... Uh, something like that. I could do an abridged version of Game of Thrones for you, but I don't think it would follow the plot very closely at all. I think I'd probably offend Game of Thrones fans by butchering it completely. You know, there's a little midget dude in there. <laughs> Everybody dies. There are a lot of dick shots, lots of cocks in the uh, in the frames. Something about a red wedding, something like that. I don't know. Sounds like a typical family get together. Everybody's at each other's throats. So I I don't know. If you if you want to go watch Game of Thrones, go watch Game of Thrones. I I I've heard it's the final season. I guess not not my cup of tea. I'm looking forward to uh, to different shows, but none of them air this evening. But um, yeah, no, you enjoy the snow zombies. And the, uh, the the scary dragons and the midgets. <laughs> it sounds like a fucking script for a bad porno. I'm going to be honest with you. It reminds me of the <laughs> Gordon Ramsay's dwarf midget doppelganger found dead in Badger Den. Which, by the way, is a actual headline. <laughs> That's still... I still love the fact that that is something that actually... You know, I'm going to find that. Gordon Ramsay's uh, midget doppelganger dead in a badger den. <laughs> How did he get in there? Yeah. Let me see if I can find this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. There we go. Oh, it's a it's a look like porn star. Of course. <clears throat> Let me. It's just the headline. I just want to show you the headline because. <laughs> Why would you not want to show this to people? Uh, there we go, I think. I think that should be it. Yeah, there we are. Gordon Ramsay's dwarf porn star lookalike found dead in a badger den. <laughs> Half eaten. Oh, I'd love to imagine the story behind that. that that's that been out there for fucking years. And every time I come across it, it brings a smile to my face. Because I, a smile to my face because I can never imagine how that little guy got in there. Why was he in there? What would compel a dwarf to go into a badger den? And how does he lose a fight with a badger? Granted, they're about the same size. You know, it's a fair weight matchup. But you're a human being. You can use tools and you have opposable thumbs. You should be able to take a badger in a fist fight, is all I'm saying. That is a 100% legitimate fucking headline. 
dwarf porn star lookalike found dead in Badger Den, half eaten. Which I think is even more insulting. It's not that you just died at the hands of a, well, at the paws of a badger. It's the fact that they were so disgusted with you that they'd only eat half of you. I don't know if that's like some kind of meta commentary on Gordon Ramsay and uh, how he likes to behave in the kitchen, where food's not good enough, he sends it back. He's very, he's very demanding that the badger was acting like Gordon Ramsay and wanted to send the dwarf back because it just wasn't cooked well enough. Poor little guy. What a way to go. Dead in a badger den. Oh, you know the final moments you'd have when something like that happening to you is imagining your family and friends' reaction to it. Oh, how the fuck... How the fuck would... They, what would they put on the tomb? On the tombstone? They'd have to lie. That's too embarrassing not to lie about. <laughs> you can't... You can't put the actual cause of death... You can't say, beloved family member died at the hands of badgers in 2012, right? You've got to make something up. It saved a, a fucking busload of orphans. Ran into a burning building to rescue nuns. Something like that. But eaten, half eaten by badgers in a den just is not the way you want to go out. Could you imagine being a dwarf? Well, yes I could. I just couldn't imagine being the dwarf that was found half fucking eaten and dead in a badger den. <laughs> it's a porn star lookalike. God damn, that is a fucking perfect story. Speaking of perfect stories, I saw this and it's so fucking insane. This is so absolutely batshit insane. I wanted to read it to you. I, I just stumbled on this today and I'm going to read it to you. And when you understand what it is we're going to be looking at, I think you're going to be amazed. But I want to set the I want to set the stage before we jump into it, okay? I want you to imagine you're a college student. You're you're a you're a young college student, 18, 19 years old, it's your first year. You need to take an economics class, you know, a 100 course. So, you sign up. It's the it's the fundamental class. It's what's going to teach you all the terms you're going to need for your degree later on in life. You've spent the money You've bought the books. You're shitting bricks because it's macroeconomics and it's going to have all these fucking terms you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to have to learn. And so you're you're sitting in class and your professor comes in. That's the stage. That's that's a mindset I want you to be in chat as we take a look at this fucking amazing story. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's from uh, KSL, a local a local news outlet. Here we go. You're gonna, this is so fucking amazing to me. Did a Utah professor confess to viewing child pornography to his class? A Utah Valley University professor is under criminal investigation after court documents indicate he admitted to students that he would look at child pornography and then apologize to his students. On December 3rd, the 42-year-old part-time adjunct economics professor at UVU was lecturing students on macroeconomics when he suddenly confessed to his class about his child pornography addiction. The class, which was also being streamed, was recorded on a thumb drive and presented to the police department, which then contacted the Department of Homeland Security. On December 4th, the professor was confronted about his in-class confection or confession by the uh, Equal Opportunity Affirmative Action Department Director, and he uh, tendered his resignation. Investigators reviewing the recorded classroom lecture noted that about 90 minutes into the class, he ceases discussion on the subject matter related to macroeconomics and begins to discuss with his students about taking them on a spiritual journey. It was during this portion of the video that he makes statements about his involvement with viewing child pornographic materials. Tonight, I'm going to beg your pardon to share my filth with you. I, I, like, <laughs> how do you react to that? Sitting in class, your professor says, uh, "Okay, students, close your books. We've learned enough. We've learned enough mathematics today. I'm going to share my filth with you. The very worst thing that I can share with you is the fact that I have seen youth, beautiful, wonderful children of this earth, in compromising positions." 
and sexual positions. If we are talking about a line in the sand, then we are talking or we are taking it south of an area that we shouldn't be. I'm sorry, but I've seen that. While continuing to apologize, the professor stressed to the class that he had not touched anyone inappropriately and does not keep a library of pornographic images, except what's in his head, the affidavit states. If you're a human being who I saw, I am not sorry that I saw you, as terrible as that sounds. I'm sorry that I looked, in, or looked at you in that way. I'm sorry that I chose to look at you in that way, he told the class. What I saw was not art. Let me be very clear. It's embarrassing. I'm ashamed and I apologize. And I will live with it. This, this is all, again, this is all going down 90 minutes into his lecture about macroeconomics at a college university. Just stops the class to take them on a spiritual journey in child pornography. Investigators noted in their warrant that several students filed complaints. No shit. Due to the graphic nature of his classroom confession to viewing child pornographic materials. He started talking about how he had never inappropriately touched a child. And in a roundabout way, he talked about what I'm guessing is his pornography addiction. I don't think I actually heard him say pornography, wrote one student. No one really understood what he was getting at. After that, he said he was going to take us on a spiritual journey. And that is when I decided to leave class. <laughs> Because I didn't want to go on a spiritual journey. That has nothing to do with macroeconomics. The student continued in the next affidavit. So it was super weird. And I just didn't feel it was an appropriate thing to do in his macroeconomics class. And another complaint. The student said the professor never stated the exact ages of the minors in the photographs. Nor did he say when he was viewing or when the viewing had occurred. Or whether any action had been taken against him for doing so. Simply fucking amazing. <laughs> what compels somebody to do that? Why would he decide suddenly in front of a, a macroeconomics? Why macroeconomics? Why your college students? Why would you decide that that's the moment you're going to take? That's when you're going to reach out and grab that ring. Then just bring people on a spiritual journey. A spiritual journey into child pornography. I want to share my filth with you. I also like the, I God, I wish I had his name. I'm sure I could find it if I dug around, because I want to see what his rate my professor rating is. <laughs> like, you know, positives, grades fairly, gives extra credit, uh, lenient about late homework. You know, negatives, you know, uh, negatives would be addicted to child pornography, interrupts class to take us on spiritual journeys about child fucking. Might be might be a bit of a, a a strike against him on that rating system. I'm going to imagine. Think about it. You pay you pay twenty thousand dollars a year to go to some fancy fucking college to go to a university, even if it's a smaller one. And <laughs> some dude in your macro course just starts talking about shit that has nothing to do with macroeconomics. Not not a thing in the fucking world. I don't know. Somebody said, "Do you think this was?" <laughs> I, I don't. I, I don't know what's going through his head. I can't tell you. I'm not. I'm not a mind reader. I maybe he dropped acid before class and th thought this was going to be a good idea. Confession is good for the soul. Maybe somebody told him that. Maybe he's hanging out in the library with a philosophy professor, and talking about confession, you know, in the moral sense and the religious sense, back and forth, having a little conversation. And he took it to heart. Decided to go to his macro class and just. Lay it out for everybody. <laughs> Just, I love the phrasing of it. It's, <laughs> I'm going to take you, I want to share my filth with you. Sounds like a little bit of a voyeur. I'm going to have to, I have to be honest with you on that one. Um, no, somebody in chat said 11K people watching. I, I, I don't have the thing pulled up, so I don't know. I'm going to, I guess that means that uh, people don't want to watch Snow Zombies today. I, I don't know what to tell you. Like I said, not my cup of tea, not the show that I, I'd watch. I'm not knocking if you like it. I'm uh, Only one I'm really looking forward to is Stranger Things Season 3, and that's not even until July. I mean, I thought Season 2 was a little eh, but I'm still looking forward to the next one. It's like the one show on Netflix that uh, you can tolerate uh, compared to all the other ones. What are they, coming out with The Witcher, where they've turned him into some kind of screamo-looking emo fuck? 
<laughs> they made everybody black. And uh, I, I, I don't know. I it, like Netflix as a whole. If Stranger Things wasn't on there, I wouldn't give it. A, I, I wouldn't watch any of it. I mean, I miss Marco Polo. I thought that was fucking great. They only did what one season of it, and now it's gone. I don't even know if that was a Netflix original. I, I, I can't stand this uh, division, right? You know, there's like one or two streaming services online that used to be really great, and now they're about 400 fucking services. It's starting to make, uh, it's starting to become like the internet's version of cable, which is kind of pissing me off a little bit. Like, you could just have Netflix, but now here's Hulu. Okay, so you got Netflix and Hulu, but now HBO Go, Disney's coming out with their own thing. And you know, by another 10 years, they're going to be 48 fucking streaming services. Somebody's going to package them all together, and now you're paying for basically internet cable. What are you going to do? I saw some people in chat earlier mentioning Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, mentioning a tower ending. Now, I don't mind showing this, but I don't want to spoil too much. So, uh, I, I will watch it. I mean, it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter to me, my fellow Kangs. But um, I am going to cut it at a certain point because I just don't want to... I mean, it's not like it's a really big... Whatever, but... We'll, we'll do it that way. Uh-oh. I think my, think my internet just froze up for a second there. Oh boy, oh boy. Press F, chat. Hit refresh. Yeah, I can already see the Fs. Already see the Fs. I'm sorry. We've been taken out. I should. I heard a man screaming outside my window. He kept screaming, "Stay back! Stay back! Aim, aim, aim! Shoot! We will stand our ground." I didn't listen, and now the internet's gone to crap on me. I know a lot of people have complaints about Mortal Kombat 11. I've heard a lot of it. Oh, it's Burka Fighter 11. All the women are ugly. Well, when have you ever seen a Western-developed video game where the women are attractive? It's like it's like some kind of a fucking brain block for these people. They can't make a sexually attractive female character. <laughs> it's, just, it's just not happening. I don't know why that is. But, you know, people are upset because they've toned it down. Uh, yeah, I understand. I understand the complaint. But I still am excited to play it. There are characters that are interesting to me. But the game leaked information about the game leaked. People got early copies, so they've been uploading footage of it. And one in particular has got everybody talking, which would be Jax's arcade ending, or his tower ending. So we'll take a look at it. Uh, since it's pretty fucking spectacular. Now, let me just get this set up here. Alright, I think it's good to go. Alright, here we go. Mortal Kombat 11, Jax Briggs classic tower ending. All I wanted was to fix my life. Now I have the power. Raiden warns me. I can't fix everything. Change too much and I could lose Vera. Lose Jackie. But this power is bigger than us. If I think only about helping myself, what kind of officer am I? What kind of man? I've been lucky. My family and I have lived the American dream. But most people who look like me haven't had that chance. I owe it to them to put things right. And I'm not waiting centuries for people to get woke when I've got the power to speed things up. I don't get it right the first time, or the second, or even the third. But eventually, I knock it out of the damn park. My family's back. The world's a better place for everyone. Turns out, you can have everything. Anyone who says you can't needs to dream bigger. Oh boy, we is woke, chat. <laughs> Just, I can't wait for the world to get woke. That's Jack Briggs with his baby girl Yolanda. In the newly built Wakanda. <laughs> he used time travel to go back and literally make himself a gang. I think it's fitting. I think that's a fitting ending. I, I can I can definitely respect that, chat. <laughs> I don't know what the other arcade endings are going to be like. But that one's making the round. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? He actually says woke. I love it. 
Jax, what are you doing? What in the fuck are you doing? That's right. That is right, Chet. I don't know. I still, I'm excited for the game. Maybe it's going to suck. Maybe it's great. Who knows? I mean, the DLC leaked. Everything is leaked for this fucking game. Apparently, people got the DLC list off the early release Switch version so they know what's coming out. Uh, you know, in fact, what the fuck was it? Uh, hold on one second, chat. Once, I'll see if I can find the little list here. I don't even know if it's confirmed to be real or not, but uh, this is what they're saying is going to be uh, the DLC for the game. So, uh, Shang Tsung, Fujin, Nightwolf. Oh my god, what is going on? Oh my god, Chad, my internet is shitting itself today. I am not sure. I am not sure. Maybe that's the power of Wakanda is kicking my ass right now. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully it's. Hopefully we're back up. We're talking about the DLC characters that have been leaked uh, via the Switch version, apparently. Here's what we got. So if you're if you're looking forward to MK11 and you're wondering what's coming out, here you go. Shang Tsung, Shang Tsung, Fujin, Nightwolf, Sindel, Shiva, Terminator, Joker, Ash, and Spawn. I know motherfuckers have been asking for Spawn for about two or three video games. Right? Ever since Mortal Kombat 9, they're asking in Injustice 2, from what I understand. Ash, obviously from the Evil Dead. Unless Nintendo has decided to go balls to the wall and put Ash Ketchum in there. Not that I would mind seeing a fucking fatality where Ash forces a human being into a Pokeball. That would be brutal as fuck. <laughs> or where you get to see what a Pokemon killing a human being looks like. Could also It's like the Pokemon trainer from Smash, but violent. Might be entertaining. And of course, bottom text, we live in a society, fucking Joker's in there. Terminator, I'm not really. Whatever. Shiva, whatever. Sindel. Nightwolf, Fujin. Okay, Shang was known. Ash is going to be fucking amazing. Spawn would be pretty amazing, too. So, there is hope. But no no ketchup and mustard, if this leak is telling the truth. You're fucked if you were looking forward to the cyborgs. I'm sorry, chat. Not gonna happen. You're up shit creek, and there's no paddling downriver. Yes, we do live in a society. I, I can... We all live in a society, chat. I have got a few super chats here. Let me read some of these, and we'll continue along. Hopefully my internet uh, stabilizes. I'm not sure what's going on. I have two I have two different fucking ISPs and both of them are shitting their pants right now. So I don't know what to tell you. But we'll read some of these. From Data Two Hearts. Jim, you absolute knob. Now I have to choose between you and Game of Thrones. There are a few schmeckles to make up for, be or for me being a loser. Caleb Lambright. Jim, I love you almost as much as you love David St. Ben Dover. Hey, Jim. Wieners, shout out oh, <laughs> Ubyami? Shout out Ubyami. Uh, the Belchoff. Uh, Betchloff? I'm not sure. You know, my brain is not functioning properly today. Uh, look up a vid called Harmony California. Married and hates Tom Brady on a channel called Doran D. Dog Fart. You potato nibba. Yeah, that's about the chick. I checked this out earlier. That's about the chick that's uh, cucking her husband. Which, I'm going to be honest with you, we we watched a, a good fair amount of cuck videos. Uh, that was mostly on stream me, though. God damn. Uh, Foxman2248, what happened to Spax3? Last I heard about Spax3, he was throwing cell phones at people, and he'd become a brony. That's about all I could tell you about it. I know that he, uh, he had a few spaz outs where he was hucking cell phones at his mom or something, and he's a brony. That, that's about all I can tell you. Hunter Velicki. Christ is risen, rejoice. From Captain Weed 56 happy Easter, Jim. Hope you're doing well, dude. I am. Uh, back at you. From Martin Smoger, the darkness grows on this Jesus day. Well, is the stream? Okay, we're good. Sean Turner, all I have to say, Jim, is late gain muted. From Oteris, have you ever thought about doing videos on the history of the internet from the perspective of a, a long-time shitposter? What are the big things that rippled across the web, and what changes came? Well, probably not a video on it, but I can give you a real rough outline. Uh, I'd give you four periods, I guess, uh, and different attitudes with each one of them. You had, you know, uh, basically BBS, 
and then that transitioned to forums, forums transitioned into image boards, and image boards transitioned into social media. At the very start, anonymity was king, and at the very end with social media, everybody's putting their real address and their fucking uh, pictures and their phone numbers up on every fucking account they have. They don't give a shit anymore. It is weird. I'll be honest with you. From Mario Carter 13, the darkness rose for the second coming of Mandar. From Trump Nation, Bitwave.tv, Senator Hitler has Game of Thrones early before Jim's stream. You can choose at the start or to start at the beginning of the episode. Mike Thompson, after hearing DSP has two houses and a wife on your last stream, I've decided to tie the knot too around my neck. Yeah, you know, again, you've got to take that with a grain of salt. Yes, DSP is married. Congratulations. Phil, we're all very happy for you. Uh, but both his houses have mortgages. Uh, he's got a condo. Well, not he doesn't really technically have two houses. He has a condo and a house. He owes money on both of them. And every year we get around tax season and he's doing a, oh my God, emergency stream. I'm going to be homeless and in the gutter if you don't give me, what was it this year, $14,000? $17,000? Some absurd amount. So <laughs> I don't even know how much money he owes on his house anymore. My suggestion, if you're like a streamer out there or a, uh, a YouTuber making great money off uh, ad revenue, uh, maybe wait till you have the majority before you put it down on a house. Don't go out and just uh, rip up a mortgage and then end up getting fucked three years uh, later because you're not making money anymore. Just just save it. Hey, you know, fuck. Save up uh, $100,000, $200,000 and then buy the house. If Phil had done that, he'd probably be in a much better position. That, what do I know? From, uh, okay. Uh, Tyrone, bad credit? Aw, shit. Rather than spending my wealth for money on my six nigglets and 11 baby mama mamas, I decided to spend it on quality entertainment. Here's a 20 in food stamps. From Americano 6, stay back. I've seen so much Andy posting all over the fucking place. It's kind of remarkable. I'll be browsing V to read about fucking video games or whatever. <laughs> There's a fucking image of Andy will pop up screaming, stay back. It's amazing. From Jack Daper. Hey, Jim, hope you're having a better Easter than the Sri Lankans. I would say I am. How long do you think, by the way, it's going to be before we start seeing BuzzFeed articles or uh, Daily Beast articles in relation to what happened in Sri Lanka? Where the headline's going to be something like... Um, Sri, or Sri Lanka was terrible, but it's not as bad as Christchurch. You know what I mean? Or we need to think, uh, we need to take a moment and step back from Sri Lanka to remember what happened in New Zealand. They'll, they'll pivot. They'll try to shift focus. I mean, there was an article that came out talking about how they wanted to uh, put up a modern roof after the fire in uh, Notre Dame uh, to, to own the old right, which is just a really bizarre sentiment. Why would you take a historical building and modernize it and make it shit to make some kind of a political statement that nobody's going to understand 50 years from now, especially in a country that doesn't really even know what the fuck you're talking about when you say alt-right. From Elizabeth Bathory, thoughts on Donga versus Kokski's new WWE match, or mock match. I could not tell you. I've not paid attention to what's going on with Donga. Not, uh, not tuned into it. I know that he does his stream with 12 people watching and a chat full of furry mods uh, that will ban you if you say something mean and the likes and dislikes disabled. Disabled like the host, riding his iron buffalo in rage because he doesn't have an audience anymore. Tough, tough breaks, Donga. Uh, if they have a new match scheduled, I don't... Why? Why would you do that? The last time they tried to do this, uh, Tonka saw sent in fake fucking blood work and a fake name on a contract to the organizers, uh, Valor, and fucked everybody out of their time, money, and effort. What makes you think that's going to happen, you know, differently this time? I, I would not trust it. Uh, the first executioner, 779. Hey, Jim, do us a favor and say, Tony, you are a fat, smelly furry that watches too much Chinese cartoons. Have a good day, you clown. Heavy Hebrew, Jim. Why have you not done your American duty and enlisted in the army? Israel needs your help. Oh, oy vey, let me sign up immediately. Jim Crow, late and gay, actually on time. On time, not muted. And heterosexual. Indigo Jack, 
what do you think will hurt Sargon's campaign more? White Negers or depends on the child? And if he loses, can his ego ever recover or will he go into hiding like a hermit? <laughs> I think the press will do what the press always does. They're going to find the sound bites that are uh, play best to an audience and generate the most outrage, and they're going to feed it piecemeal over the next month. So it'll be one after the other. I don't think it's going to be just one or the other. It's going to be all of them laid out in a order of whatever choosing they decide upon. And I don't know, uh, <laughs> I don't know how that's going to play. All I know is what I've witnessed, I guess, the last week, which is Nigel Farage's uh, Brexit party seems to be doing really well in the polling. UKIP is down. Uh, multiple MEPs from uh, UKIP have left. Three of the female MEPs resigned after the uh, rape tweet defense by Batten. And Batten stormed out of a, uh, a questioning segment, I think, on Sky News because he got so sick of being asked about it. So, I mean, that's like two days in. So who knows what three weeks from now is going to look like. We'll, we'll just have to wait and wonder. From Aishik Zamani. Jim, I know you're bad when it comes to promises, but will you ever make the couch cuck vid? Also, screw YouTube for censoring cuck. Actually, I answered this uh, two or three streams ago. Uh, no, I. It, it, that's kind of come and gone. So I don't see myself making the couch cuck vid. Americano 6, euthanize your local pit bull. From Tyrone, bad critic. Red, Red Sea pedestrian li lives don't matter. All righty then. Captain Jack, everyone donates so Jim keeps up the good work. Jim, do you think we have died and are now in hell? Depth to all fur face. I'm going to guess you meant fur fags, but uh, Google stepped in and didn't let you do that. Jim, do you think we've all died and now in hell? Uh, what was it? I can't even remember the name of it. But Because <clears throat> uh, I like to browse X. I love the spooky shit. I love the paranormal stuff and the conspiracies. That shit's fun as fuck to me. And one of my favorite was always the notion uh, that, yes, we are all dead right now, and this is very much hell. And it, it perfectly explains why God allows suffering. Because you're being punished. <laughs> you, can't, you can't sin in hell. Everybody born in hell got sent here because of a judgment. There are no innocent people. That's why it's so fucking miserable. I need to browse X more. God, I miss threads like that get a couple of crazy motherfuckers talking about random shit and just lose an entire evening as they go on about their religious philosophy. A Jim Crow, can I get a yeet yeet, my good sir? James Tomlin notices your bulge. What's this, daddy, Jim? Sock Puppet 1, here's a tip, my fellow Amerishart. A shart in the mart, indeed. Level 0, my kidney stones wish you and yours a happy Easter, Jimmy boy. Eat a little Asian tonight. Kidney stones are brutal. That is not going to be fun. Enjoy pissing out boulders as you scream out in agony. Ah, oh, it's not. I probably shouldn't say that because now you're going to be nervous about it. It's going to make it even worse. You paid me $5 and I've made it even worse. I'm an asshole. Umber and Witch, uh, 1411, how's your Easter, Jim? It's been fantastic. Had a nice uh, family get-together. Had a nice meal, which we usually do. And then was preparing for the stream when I realized, God damn, I'm an idiot, and this is Easter Sunday, and probably probably not the best day to schedule an interview with David Stay. So we've rescheduled that. Angela Ziegler, Knicker Nerds. Ah, uh, yes, I miss Streamy when you could actually say what I believe you wanted to say. Barbizon Dropout. Jimbo, what's your 5e class of choice? We are, we are not getting into this. James Tomlin, Daddy Jim, never grew me. No love for us furry degenerates. John Turner, happy second year Joy Lane Easter massacre, massacre anniversary. Lucifer, love monkey, Rama Rama. Zimmy, say Joy Lane. Oh, well, there you go. 27513, Honkler did nothing wrong. I, you know, I, I think I'm going to have to put up like a new system for Super Chats. Maybe have them scroll across screen. Because people always get pissed at me. I, but I feel bad if I don't read them. If you're going to give me money, I'm going to fucking acknowledge what you say. So I feel obligated to read them. Otherwise, I'm being a cunt. But then I feel like <laughs> what? it's a 40-minute stream and five hours of reading chats. So I guess if you're going to super chat, ask something really, really great or put a link into something that's fucking amazing. So we can break into things. Play some fucked up shit in between this. 
Again, it's mostly an impromptu stream tonight. Wanted to do the Mandar thing. Couldn't do it, but I didn't want to just not do something tonight. Also, uh, for people that were asking earlier, there's a video going up probably Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. Uh, you know, so there, that's coming out later on. From some beach, apparently I have a free one. Here you go, cash cow. Yeah, I don't understand why YouTube Premium is trying to convince people it's giving you free money. It's charging you $13 a month. And then giving you two dollars. So really, it's charging you eleven dollars a month. It's not. It's not free money. And then on top, you know what? It's not even giving. Okay, this is even more clever on the part of YouTube. They charge you thirteen dollars a month for the service. They give you two dollars in super chats. But remember, YouTube takes thirty percent. So actually, what what is that? What does that break down to? Sixty cents. So they've given you a dollar and forty cents, and they've charged you eleven dollars and sixty cents. And convince you that they've given you two dollars. They're very clever about fucking you out of your money. Timo, the Swift president. Are you God? No, I'm not. Ethan Jones. Hey, Jim. Next intermission. Play anime is gay too. It's made by the same guy that made the original. From James O'Shaughnessy. Jim, have you ever seen the channel Jim Can't Swim? It's a dude who watches police interrogations and breaks down the tactics interrogators use. I have not seen that. I'll be honest with you, but it sounds fucking fascinating. Eduardo Ramirez. Ave true to Honkler, Hank Hank. From Surefoot, Surefoot 89. Ellen is a dirty weeb. Krynak, Jim, quit lying about the camels. You know good and well you smoke cools and ports. You dirty knicker. Happy Easter Christianity is the way to eternal life. I will be honest with you. I cannot stand Newports. And I don't think I've ever smoked a fucking cool before in my life. I hate menthol cigarettes. It's like this over... I, it's so fucking strong with menthol cigarettes, with Newports. It makes me want to fucking retch. Uh, no, I, I can't. I can't stand that shit. It's camels all the way. Darren Pell, Hail Honkler, Daniel Smith, running on potato nigger time. Iron Snarkas, happy Easter, Jim. Please leave the stream up. I, I Most people mirror the streams, and then <clears throat> for the majority of the time, I'll transport them over to Hal's channel, so... Jet Set Tomato finally caught one of your streams live. Keep it up, Potato Negro. Press S in chat. Spit on Sri Lanka kebabs. All right, chat. I'm going to take a break from the Super Chats for a moment here and actually read the normal chat, where I'm sure you're all telling me... <laughs> or you're all telling me amazing things about how I've taken you away from your so Snow Zombie show to read Super Chats at you. So let me ask you, chat, how is your Easter Sunday going? Yeah, that's assuming a lot of you are Christian, but nonetheless, how was the Easter Sunday? Did you have a nice time? Did you get together with the family? Did you go have a nice meal? Did you enjoy yourself? Did you turn Twitter off for a moment so you don't have a bunch of blue checkmark left-leaning liberals screaming at you about how you're the death of the world or something? And just have a nice meal. Working 12 hours, god damn. That is, uh, that is rough. Hopefully you're getting overtime for that shit. Cadbury eggs? <laughs> well, I imagine the majority of people that I'm hoping are watching this didn't wake up this morning and go searching the yard for Easter candy and toys. <laughs> At least if you did, I hope you have your parents' permission to watch the stream, as well as their credit card numbers. And their permission to use it. Remember, tell them your favorite Minecraft YouTuber is doing a stream right now. And he totally needs $500, kids. Twelve hours every day. Jesus Christ, what the fuck do you do, man? I, oh, should I put chat up on screen? How can I do this? Let me, let me adjust this for a moment here, chat. Is the stream quality shitting out on me again? I don't know what the fuck is going on today. YouTube's coming to get me. I should have been a Minecraft YouTuber. I'll tell you, those guys make crazy money. You know, I remember back, I well, not even Minecraft, just fucking game streamers, Twitch streamers. I, I think it was two years ago when I debated Destiny which was just us basically talking past each other for about two hours. 
Um, and right around that time, he was talking about the amount of money he made doing what he does, which is game streaming. I think he said he made like six figures. And, you know, I looked into it with a lot of these game streamers, Minecraft, the LPers, all those guys. They make crazy money doing that shit. Just every day doing it. The little bits they throw at you on Twitch. I guess DSP is a great fucking example of that. The amount of money that dude makes is insane. His 10-year legacy of YouTube transitioned into game streaming. And he's probably making more now than he did at his height on YouTube. And that's with all the the fat checks from Machinima from back in the day. Cam whores? I don't know. Does Twitch even allow cam whores on anymore? Like, I understand that the entire environment, like the, just everything about Twitch has changed. You can't make racy jokes anymore. You can't even let your chat have fun. I mean, you can say what you want about YouTube, but they do let you kind of say what you want. I couldn't let this happen on Twitch. If I went over to Twitch to stream something, and I didn't have like 400 moderators removing every comment that was a little bit a little bit off color, I'd get banned, you'd get banned, we'd all get banned. If I said something on social media that was a little risky, we'd all get banned. God, every streaming alternative that comes out just gets demolished. Hitbox TV basically got it shit the bed, essentially, got bought out. Stream me went under. DLive, if you remember the last stream, I played a segment where somebody had said that they contacted PayPal about DLive and their cryptocurrency. And then I saw somebody posting something from one of the community managers over at DLive saying that PayPal was being taken off as an option to use to pay creators. So I, I don't even know if that's true or not, but they're already getting fucked with. It's just <laughs> YouTube. I guess YouTube is going to draw in its own audience because it kind of lets you do the very last uh, uh, last little bit of freedom left, which is fucking bizarre to say that YouTube is the one doing it. Boob painting? They let you paint your tits on Twitch? Oh, I gotta start watching Twitch more then. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing over here. They got titty painting over on Twitch TV. What the fuck? Uh, Chromatron in the Chromatron in chat saying, buy stream me. I... See, that's the thing. From what I understand, it's like one of three possibilities happen with StreamMe. Either they invested in the Ice Poseidon thing and it fell through and they pulled back after the FBI got involved. Um, they got fucked with and decided just to cut ties with the business altogether. Or they're getting sued over using a proprietary technology they didn't have the rights to. Either way, I don't think they're selling anything. I mean, maybe you could buy the domain name if they don't give a shit, but without the infrastructure, what is that going to do for you? And I sure shit don't want to run a fucking website. Have you ever, is there one normal person on the internet that's run a website and not come out crazy at the end of it? Like, Moot turned into a cuck and married a chick that works at Google. Lotex ended up boxing film critics and got, <laughs> he just got shit kicked in to the point where he sold mangosteens. I think Josh from Kiwi Farms is probably hiding in a cave hoping that the fucking New Zealand authorities don't send a fucking rogue squadron from their military to hunt him down. It's just, I don't want to run a website. It's way too much hassle. It never works out well for the people running the fucking website. Like, DeGrippo left uh, Encyclopedia Dramatica to make, what is it, I Has Cheeseburgers or whatever the fucking website was that died within a day. And then the other guy that took, the, <laughs> took over ended up taking all the money that was supposed to go for the infrastructure and spending it on, what, heroin? <laughs> like, fuck that shit. Let somebody else make the website. I'm good. I'm not going to go out and buy stream me and try to try to run it. Oh, fuck. What a nightmare. I, you, you, typical lazy Jim. I'll let you do it, bro. You go buy stream me and you run it and I'll come hang out on your website. You show us you lead the way. You show us the the uh, the, the new horizon. The grass is greener on the other side. You lead us there. Lead us to paradise through this desert of uh, no content and bannings <laughs> get us there and pre preferably under 40 years worth of time but yeah i'm not touching that shit fuck that imagine using the internet well uh, sadly that's what we're doing we're at least enjoying the last moments of it before it completely shits the bed and we're all fucked get jade to do it i don't i don't think she'd want to either 
I don't want to. I don't want to. Even if she did want to, I don't want her doing it. <laughs> I don't want the fucking headaches of it. Look at Dorsey completely mental now. Dorsey, you're talking about, uh, that's Jack, right? The guy that owns Twitter. I don't know what he was like before Twitter. Or even during the early days. I didn't really pay attention to Twitter back when it first started. I mean, maybe he was more mellow. Maybe he was more relaxed and didn't have a stick up his ass. But I get the feeling that Jack, a lot of the times, delegates responsibility to hand-picked people that make really terrible decisions. <laughs> Not that he's far... I mean, he is far gone, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know shit about the guy's personality. I know the majority of the other stuff I talked about, I've got a pretty good idea about, but Jack Dorsey's like a little mystery. I don't know what that fucking dude is like. All I saw was he was on Rogan a couple of times. That's that's about the majority of shit I've ever seen of Jack. And maybe once when he snuck out the door after it was Laura Loomer, handcuffed herself outside Twitter HQ. Oh my God, I fucking hell. What what happened? To, I wonder what Laura Loomer's up to. What buildings is she handcuffing herself to today? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I missed this. Did somebody actually do this? Uh, Gertie Dinkland uh, sent $200. Well, thank you. Tell mom and dad, Mr. Minecraft is appreciative. Mr. Minecraft is super... We're going to we're gonna dig shit, bro. Welcome to this Minecraft LP. I'm going to dig me some dirt, and I'm going to build a log cabin. I'm going to put a little shrine to that $200 donation right in the fucking center of it. <laughs> I'm going to call it the Gertie Shrine. That's that's how we do it. you got to buy into the shrines. I'm going to open my Minecraft channel, and it's going to be run like a fucking auction. You get recognition the higher the dollar amount. I'll <laughs> make 20-minute episodes the more money you donate. This little Gertie Shrine in the middle there. I look forward to the chargeback and the police investigation. So you told you told a bunch of kids to give you money on the internet? Did you think that was right? Oh, these are serious legal charges you've got pending against you, Mr. Minecraft. I don't think you really thought this through very well. Was it worth it? Was that $200 worth your freedom? You're going to prison now, motherfucker. I am a good man, chat. That's right. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm like Jax in Mortal Kombat 11. I got, I just, I'm trying to spread it around. I'm trying to make the world a better place. All right, let's, let's read some more of these here. From KC Sniper Boy. A little something for you, Daddy Jim. If big burps turn you on, look up Burping Girl on YouTube. I am not a big fan of big burps. I, I'm going to be honest with you about this. Shane Quigley for you, Jim. Hope you have a happy Easter. I'm well, back at you. Mark Man I hear holy shit. Hunter Velicky, I love you, but not in a gay way, I swear. Uh, I'm wary of anyone asking for outlines. If you're trying to butter me up, I think I know where this is going. From Meximan and Cheese. Hey Daddy Jim, check out the video Big Top Cupcake on channel Cooking with Jack. It's Cheese Salad Guy with Son. He hates his kid. You know what? That sounds like it could be an interesting video. It's, of course, the CK Cook, uh, Mr. Amazing, let's eat raw fucking chicken, let's make a cheese salad with fucking Jello mix and cream cheese and other disgusting, horrific shit. He hates his child, does he? Cooking with Jack, the t a big top cupcake. All right. Now, this is a long video, but we'll, we'll watch some of it. All right, so the people were talking. Hates his child, does he? All right, let's... Let's take a look at how much this guy hates his kid. I've seen some videos on YouTube where they most definitely can't stand their fucking children. So I don't know where this rates. If it's shit, we'll just tune it off. Who's right there, okay? Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay. Three, two. Okay, just do it. All right, all right. Off on here, you're cooking with Jack. And I'm here with my son, Jack Jr. Say hi, Jack. Hi. Hi, Jack. I said hi, Jack. Can you get it? <laughs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to be doing the Big Top Cupcake today, right? Yeah. All right. And uh, before we do the... I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not seeing it. Is there a time code for this? Is there like a specific moment in the video where he looks at his son and just is like, you know, I wish you were adopted. <laughs> I wish your brother was the one that lived. 
Why did you have to live? Why am I stuck making YouTube videos with you? I wonder if this is a Sunny Sunny almost killed. Oh, there's some backstory to that. I don't know. I'll have to investigate. I, I will get the backstory to this, and we'll take a look at it, I guess. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sorry. From Nick Pillars. Hey, boss, if you're looking for material for tonight, you should check out Charlie Zelenoff. Yeah, I know who he is. That's a crazy guy that cha or challenges everybody on the internet. And <laughs> gets his shit kicked in. Legit thinks he's an underground boxing champ. Cyborg Jesus Christ. Plus, he's in love with Kim K. And Nicki Minaj. And makes videos. From Moderator Marcy. Jim, my birthday party over this weekend got me a few shekels. Not enough to spend over $1,200 for Dead or Alive and its DLC. Better stick to Mortal Kombat. Press X to download Frost Chat. Yeah, I don't, I don't fucking get that. I, I get that. Uh, so, Shang Tsung is a pre-order. Uh, or, uh, fucking Shao Kahn is a pre-order. Jesus. Uh, Shang Tsung is DLC. But then if Frost is in story mode and unlocks in Chapter 4, why would you have the option to pay money to unlock a character you're going to unlock anyway? It's like that easy fatality shit where they charge five bucks for 30 easy fatalities. It's just dumb. It's so fucking stupid. Why do that? From Gear 3009, Jim, how do I attract Asian chicks? Uh, well, just carry a little bag of rice around with you and a calculator because Asians love math. So, <laughs> I don't know. The sound of a calculator being used is seductive. It gets them wet. They love it. Federal Reserve has committed treason. Hang the bankers for treason. I love the nation of Israel. Check out the hashtag van life YouTube community. Just a bunch of unemployed a-holes living in vans that tiny or think tiny house, but more depressing. Still born of a cod. Shout out to Cheese Club, Applebee's finest for MP. From Skeleton Jim Play Mortal Kombat launch trailer for your stream outro. So hype for it Tuesday, press F chat for the Christian martyrs of Sri Lanka. Well, Skeleton wants you to press F for Sri Lanka's victims. I believe it was God, the death toll is really fucking high. It was like 250, 400 injured, multiple bombings that took place simultaneously. Uh, just uh, <sighs> real shitty. From Google or uh, Goggles Coon, I'm playing Risk of Rain 2 while relaxing, knowing I have today off and tomorrow off from wage slaving. Thanks for being a bro and putting out a stream. Andrew, or Adrian Lopez Hernandez, take my Mexican pesos, the best kind of pesos. Nick Riqueda. Or Rick Nikeda, the Emperor protects, but not heretics. Lots of F's in chat. Yeah, it was a. Uh, yeah, it was a, it just. Uh, I'm not. I'm not big into doing uh, breaking stories or uh, politics too much. So, I'll leave that for maybe Ralph will cover it on his stream on Monday or something. But um, yeah, uh, just uh, shitty news out of Sri Lanka. From Maximiliano. Mayor Zorga? Art to see Funimations to set itself on fire. I haven't been keeping up with the Weeb War stuff. I know there's been a lot of crazy shit going on. I know the lawsuit got filed. I know that uh, people were doubting that it was going to get filed. Uh, Nick did a stream. He broke 10K. I think that was the first stream he broke 10K on, which, by the way, congratulations. Uh, but they're, they're really just full fucking force ahead with that shit. But I haven't kept up on the specific details of everything that's going on. Brian W., rest in peace, Boogie1488. He died choking on the bones of the minority children he was eating to secure the future for the obese race. Actually, holy shit. And now that you mention it, let me make chat stay worse. Because I believe Boogie has the video up on his channel of his teeth. And the fucking surgery he had done. Holy shit. Yeah, finally getting my teeth fixed, full dental implants by the company that he went to. What's up? Uh, this is some hardcore shit. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, Chad. If you don't want to watch it, if you want to take a break, go take maybe a piss or something, grab yourself a drink, uh, go go hug a loved one, or maybe brush your teeth. Uh, but Boogie put this video up on his channel, and uh, it's just fucking shocking how bad his teeth were. Like, ridiculously destroyed. I think at one point in the video they said he had 18 abscesses. 18 points of infection in his mouth. His teeth had rotted away so badly, there were 18 different infections going on in his jaw. 
and they show what they had to do to fix it. And it's like something out of a fucking uh, horror movie. <laughs> it's it's really bad. So I'll, I'll play a few highlights from that, because who doesn't want to watch that? Don't do it. People saying don't do it. You know what, chat? This is for your own good. you got to remember to brush your teeth and floss. If you don't, this is what awaits you. <laughs> this is what your future is going to look like in 10 years. From all those sugary drinks and all those uh, nachos and Oreos and shit. And never brushing. Uh, this is this is the end result of that. Uh, prepare yourself. It's pretty fucking awful. Okay. Well, it's there. We go. There's our boy Boogie. Uh, <laughs> I'll skip around because it's a bit of a long video. We're gonna get to the good shit right away. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Here are the images of uh, what his teeth look like. So that's new. There's the actual. That's the inside of his mouth. That was Boogie's mouth at the time when he went in to do all this shit. I don't even... What is this? Do you see that? The upper right, second from the right on the top. That looks... I don't even know what that is. It's this little black cone. I mean, you'd think it might be the tooth, but I've never seen anything like that before. This is what it looks like when you drink nothing but soda and eat junk food. And don't brush. <laughs> this is the end result of that. After 20 years of neglect. I It's just... It looks like a little maggot. This looks like a... I, when I first saw this, I thought it was like a maggot that was in there. It was going to pop out. <laughs> like some kind of carnival game. The dentist was going to have to hit it with a fucking mallet. Oh, where is it? Here, yeah, I think this is the part where he says he's got 18 abscesses. And he just showed me something fascinating. This is a list of every tooth, and each check mark is an abscess. Is that, is that what you're saying? Yes. Actual and not 18, 14. Pardon me. Just, just fucking insane. Uh, now here's where we get into the hardcore shit, uh, where you're gonna see what it's like when they actually do the surgery. Oh God, this is. Oh, oh did they take it out? And there's no way. Did he take it out? Okay, this is what they had to do to fix Boogie. Uh, they did dental implants, so they removed all his teeth, put giant fucking pins in his jaw. Oh, maybe I skipped ahead. Okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> this, is, this is what happens when you don't brush yet. Take a good look. I'll tell you that. Light out on me. Okay. Are we back? I'm sorry, Chad. It looks like it died out for a second. YouTube knew what was coming. YouTube understood what was about to happen, and it pulled me back. But here's the end result. This is what happens when you don't take proper care of your teeth. This is the only way they could fix Boogie's mouth. Take a look at that shit. They, they had to remove every tooth in his mouth to tear apart his gums completely. And to fucking use, <laughs> to use power tools to drill into his fucking skull. Look at that shit. That's metal. That is some hardcore shit. Oh, god damn. Now make sure to brush tonight, guys. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I'm saying. And then I think here he is once it's all done. <laughs> God. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> and there he is with his new teeth. And the weirdest thing is, he actually looks completely different. Not just like the haircut and shit, but his entire mouth looks different. Like his face has a new shape. He was, myth or he was missing so many teeth that it kind of like sunk in on itself like old people do. You, know, like you ever had like a grand uh, grandparent, like grandpa, grandma is like 80 years old, missing a bunch of teeth. You know how they kind of their face kind of just caves in on itself. His was doing that. So now that he's got these implants, he looks different. Oh, man. I mean, granted, they look like... <laughs> they look, they're, they're almost too good that they look uh, fake. Like, you know, this guy obviously has them too. You know, perfect sterling white, dead straight teeth. Looks like he taped a bunch of chiclets in his mouth, but way better than what it was.
just uh, just wanted to share that with you on your holiday. Nothing says Happy Easter like massive, painful, life-changing surgery on your mouth. <laughs> getting those getting those black teeth removed. Good God, holy fucking shit! I mean, what I, I like it makes me wonder: was he sitting there eating sugar all day? Like nothing else? Was there just bags of sugar he'd eat directly out of? Like how do you do that? How do you get to that point? And the pain must have been fucking surreal. Like if you've ever had a cavity, that can be painful. Now imagine if you've got 18 teeth that are rotted into your bone and infected. That must have been misery. How the fuck do you even eat with that? Yes, happy Easter chat. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, from Waxican, Jim, I heard you smoke camels like a pleb. Everyone knows Marlboro is best. At least that's what my dad said when he used to burn me with them. It's a great endorsement of Marlboro. Utter disappointment. Check out Pistol Maniac 100. He's my favorite meth-fueled backwoods inbred prepper on YouTube. From Finlaw, today I learned India drinks cow piss. They sell it by the bottle. A Google account, Game of Thrones is about incest and incest-related accessories. You God Emperor vilifying heathen. Johnny X, Johnny, please send me the artist. I'll message Mr. Anti for it. Brian W, rest in peace, Boogie for Okay, that's that's the one that started us on our little journey. Psycho Robot, please tell my friend Romney she's a bitch. Romney, or Rami, you are a bitch. Arcade Outpost, I streamed Scam Citizen today at, Arco, or, or, at Arcade Outpost on Sea Live and Bitwave. Follow now. And getting in on our ships still kills you. Scam survivors, post your JPEGs. I, is Star Citizen still fucking going? <laughs> it's been it's been so long. They've made so much fucking money for that thing. You'd figure it'd be done. We'd have a finalized release. There would be no more bullshit. All the bugs would be fixed. <laughs> it's it's never ending. It's going to make Duke Nukem Forever seem like it was done in a, a reasonable time frame. From Tenchi, have you watched the Orville? If not, you should. Yes, I have, actually. From Kron Gamer, look up Omar for stuffed animals and four collectibles. Sing Baby by Omar Taylor. He's got dozens of channels on YouTube. Two notable ones being Omar the Denver Nuggets fan and Epic Omar. Adeline the Blue, you should look this up. Chaos at Walmart is a woman performs karate. Son exposes himself. Dog steals food. That sounds like a typical day at Walmart, I'm going to be honest with you. Mario Carter 13, Jim found dead in Money Badger Den. Half bitch made. Austin Forbes, re-listening to your debate with Destiny, you called it about the planes and diversity hires. The people who worked on Boeing were HP2 visa hires. Jim Crow, when you kill Neegs, bottom text. Americano 6, the midget was half raw, Jim. From Kumpala 1, midget should have told the Badger to stay back. Uh, you may be correct. He should have told the Badger he was standing his ground, that his friend was armed, and that he needed to stay the fuck back. <laughs> stay back, walk away from us, we're going to follow you. Aim, 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 shoot. From Moderator Marcy, Yo, Jim, there's a game released called Mount Your Friends. I really don't know what I downloaded, although I feel dirty somehow. From Luric L, don't worry, Jim, the showrunners have already ruined Game of Thrones for years now. The only reason to watch it now is to make sure it dies a terribly written death. From Papa Tai, Death by Badgers would be great. I would love to have that on my grave, except for the death part. Don't like that. Cron Gamer thoughts, opinions on AVGN? Like his stuff? He's still putting it out. Casey Sniper Boy, what are your thoughts on Halo? Uh, played it back in the day, enjoyed it. Liked the multiplayer in like 2 and 3. And I uh, kind of jumped off after that. I liked Halo Reach. Didn't really play 4 or 5. Stopped paying attention. Jesse S., YouTube gave me a free super chat. The Packard Goose, I screwed up with the first message, like the Drunksburg I am, but you deserve a shekel a second time. Anyway, happy Easter, Jimbo. Mac, tonight, take these shekels and buy yourself something nice. From, shit, why did I do that here? Uh, where are we there? Bow Wow, what are your thoughts on One Punch Man Season 2 so far? Haven't had a chance to watch. I didn't even know it was out yet. I've been looking forward to it, so if, they've, if they're already showing episodes, they need to get off my lazy Irish ass and watch it. Mobile Crusader. It's a Mormon thing. One-eared Rabbit Productions. Why is Andy becoming the new Baked Alaska? When are you going to start? Uh, when are you going to start streaming in real life and ruin your YouTube career? I like to watch people stream in real life. I don't want to do it. I just like to watch crazy shit happen. 
And it seems like every in real life streamer always runs into a fucking wall where something terrible happens. Uh, it's happened to Ice Poseidon at least a hundred fucking times. Looks like it's happened to Andy. It's happened to Baked. Uh, Asian Andy's had some fucking crazy shit happen. Scuffed uh, Jim Carrey's had some crazy shit happen. Uh, not not the life I want to be living. Though, to be fair, Asian Andy, I think, made, was it $30,000 one evening just by streaming himself doing crazy shit? Like he was making crazy fucking money. Dovin Death. Hey, Jim. If you want to go down a rabbit hole of pure degeneracy, look up Fluffy Abuse. It's a community kicked out of My Little Pony groups for being too degenerate, even for bronies. I actually know what that is. It was going to be a subject of a video once. Uh, Gordon Freeman, call my girlfriend Tiana a nig. She's only half black. Uh, well, Tiana, you heard him. Gordon Freeman thinks you're a nig. Cody Rush, Jim, do you miss Danny the Panda? And did you ever look at It's a Gundam YouTuber? I don't know if I got a chance to look at It's a Gundam YouTuber, but... Uh, Danny, uh, gone but not forgotten. Three days of solitude. Ross went for went from elementary to college real quick. Alex Wrench, I can't send the link. Search Dustin McPepperidge. It's a few years old, but he's a wrestling buddy. I will have to take a look. Farah Owen, feel free to skip this one. Why are you just fucking with me? Uh, Mobile Crusader, Bathtub Economics. Jojo Bizzard. Furries waste 5000 bucks on art and diapers and blame capitalism because they have to pay their bills. What a time to live, honk honk. Sans Undertale. Make a new Deviants episode, Rabbi. Maybe I'll do it about fluffy abuse. The One Happy Cascade. If you have time, look up Kay's Cooking Meatballs. If you want to disembowel yourself, skip to 620 if you're short on time. The Big Apple. Hey, Jim, anything new with Tonka? I haven't been keeping up uh, with, the, uh, with him, basically. Neither have I. I don't know what I don't know what Taka's up to. I'm completely uh, done paying attention to him. Uh, maybe if he does something really fucking retarded, I'll, uh, we'll get a good clip out of it. Uh, Edward or Eduardo Ramirez, pig ups to my hard R's, LSB and Rocky, AG, caw caw. Did you know gaming weird? Just hopped in the stream. Can I get a summary of what you're talking about? Uh, we talked about Boogie's uh, teeth. A midget being eaten in a badger den. A professor talking to his class about his love of child pornography and taking them on a spiritual journey. How Jax from Mortal Kombat is a Kang and recreated Wakanda using time travel. Now that about sums up the discussion so far. From Odeker. Jim, please play my video during your smoke break so I can stop nagging you about it. Super Chant won't go through with the full link. Also sent to Mr. Antibully. I'm not sure why Super Chat is blocking links. Uh, maybe there's a setting I can change so people can do that directly. I, I honestly don't know. Idle Mage, I'm black, and the Mortal Kombat ending is cringe. The pharaohs were Irish. Groid stealing Irish history again. Zabrata Slim, we must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children. From Noah Evans, Google, or Google gave me this money for a survey. It only feels right that you have it. From Common or Cayman Pikachu. Sorry to see that you, Kip, is trying to deplatform you. By the way, you should really check out the Netflix show You. It's pretty damn good, and it isn't super PC. An unwatcher, I'm looking forward to MK Ultra and Mario Kart 13. Knicker nerds, rise up, das right. Uh, yeah, people saying they want to watch a deviance on f autistic fluffy torture. I could do that. Why not? Why not take a look at the community? It's fucked up and bizarre. Uh, a lot of it started as more of a joke than anything. But now I'm sure there are people that are very into it. And very dedicated to drawing that shit for their own specific reasons. Everything that starts off as a joke eventually gets morons that are taking it seriously and just run with that shit for, for years. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? 405 cooking video. What what cooking video are we talking about? <laughs> Stop giving somebody a chat fluff. Stop giving him super chats. All he does is read them. I'm bound to read them, chat. I have to. If you give me money, I have to respond. Otherwise, I feel like I'm fucking you. 
<laughs> it's a fight between normal chat and super chat. And I'm stuck in the middle. But remember, kids, ask mom and dad for that credit card and get that permission. And Mr. Minecraft will put you in one of his amazing videos. $200 to get your own shrine. Sounds like a bargain to me. Just tell dad to work a little overtime. You've got YouTubers that need that, <laughs> need that money. They'll understand. Just do, do, do a little Fortnite dance for him or whatever the fuck... Whatever the fuck kids do nowadays. 405. All right. 405 in the cooking video. Let's take a look at what we got. Let's take a look at the big top cupcake. Here we go. No, I'm just teasing. I love him. Give me a kiss. No. Come on, give me a kiss. No. Come on. <laughs> kiss me, you little fucker. <laughs> what did he say to him? What did he say to him? I don't do many videos with him. Love it everywhere. Dude, you're gonna make a mess. Okay, now you guys know why I don't do many videos with him. Love him to death when he's in school. No, I'm just teasing. I love him. Give me a give me a kiss, you little fuck. Give Daddy a kiss, or he's gonna put you in the cupcake bowl. You remember the last time Daddy put you in the cupcake bowl? You cried for a week. Yes. No. Come on, give me a kiss. No. Come on. <laughs> All right. You're nasty. <laughs> Did you hear that little fu- You're nasty. Oh, okay. All right, maybe this video's got more potential than I realized. All right. You're nasty. Okay, so... All right, so now we got to put in uh, three eggs. Can you do that without getting it all over the place? Okay, put in three eggs. <laughs> look at the look he's giving him. He doesn't even trust him with the task of cracking eggs open. Dude, did don't you get shell in there? It. No. All right, throw it in there. No, don't put it on the table. You, okay, you just I'm not you shit. just got yolk all over the table. I mean, white all over the table. Okay, hold this. Thank you. Is that his stepson? I mean, that might explain what's going on here. That that could potentially be his stepson. And he's having all sorts of emotions right now cooking with him. You little fucker. Did you really just dump egg, <laughs> egg shards into my fucking bowl and throw the fucking remains at the wall? You're nasty, Dad. Fucking hate you. Making me film this gay shit. Kids at school pick on me. Call me raw chicken boy. Call me a kid whose father can't cook. I don't know. I have a feeling there's probably more like this within this video. Probably other videos like it. But uh, I'm not I'm not up on the deepest lore of our boy Jack here and his cooking adventures. 235? All right, Jet, I will I will oblige you and we'll take a look at 235. Uh that should be good. All right, let's let's take a look. I got another time code people are suggesting. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Put it down. There you go. Okay. There's your cake mix. Don't cut yourself. Don't cut yourself, I'm serious. Lower. Dude, you're all over the place. Have you ever cut a bag open? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, dude. Have you ever cut anything in school? Other than your finger. Dude. Okay, let me try this. Look. Here's a bit. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Don't do that. No, I Don't got it. I got it. I no, no, no. no. I'll just give you a knife. We'll just, if we're going to cut you, we're going to cut you good. Ready? Here. Oh, God, no. It's my solution. This is my solution to the problem of my stepson. The kid that can't operate scissors properly. I'm going to hand you this fucking knife. And I just want you to just go wild with it. Daddy trusts you. Just take this knife and open that bag. I want you to get a running start at it. I'm going to open the door up to the backyard. I want you to go stand by the shed, and then full fucking speed it, kid. Just, just run like, just run like the Road Runner. Imagine this is a cartoon. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Let me untie your shoes so you're more aerodynamic. When the shoelaces are flopping everywhere, that's how you know you're going fast. That's how we gauge speed. And I just want you to fucking run for it. Just run straight at it. 
Don't worry about a thing. I'm here to catch you. I love you, boy. <laughs> Trust Dad. Can you use this knife to cut that bag open? Just gonna stick it? No, no, sideways. Sideways. Oh, you're killing me. Now slice away. You're... Watch your hand. Move your hand. Move your hand. My son is so retarded. I have to force the knife into his hand and then hold his hand to make him cut the bag open. Dad does not trust this kid worth a shit. <laughs> like, what's the point of this, Jack? Just cut the fucking bag open yourself. <laughs> like, I, I just, this kid, this kid's a complete fuck up. Just can't trust him. I'm going to have to use his hand as an instrument while he holds the knife. It's like a bad comedy sketch. You're scaring me. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. All right. Pour it in the bowl. Got it. Oh, just in the bowl. Keep it in the bowl. It's not good. You're going to get it everywhere. <laughs> Dude, you're going to make a mess. Okay. Let's get this. Try to get this a little. Uh, you know, I'd almost put money on the fact that once he cuts into this, raw chicken blood's going to squirt out. That seems to be par for the course with Jack's cooking. Let's find out. Uh, a little flat. Let's try and dump some of the crumbs out. Hang on a second. Not too bad. No, not too bad. Okay, well, it's not perfectly flat, but that might lay pretty good. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing here and try and, and try and cut this level a little bit. Get rid of that. That piece, boy. That's your piece. Daddy's gonna put it in the dog bowl. That's what you eat out of. Daddy only feeds real cake to real people, and you're not a real person. You're autistic and adopted. Now get on the floor and eat it like an animal. Get out of my YouTube video, you disappointment. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Okay, that looks pretty good too, doesn't it? Look, mm -hmm. Does that look flat to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, do you want to frost and then put that on top of it and then frost on top of that? Sure. So you want a frost layer? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Okay, can you gently take it? And turn it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. It's not too hot. Flip it quickly and put it right down. Nice job, dude. You want to do the, we're going to do the cream cheese in the middle. It's not cream cheese. Oh, it is. Cream cheese. Right there. Cream. As you can see, audience, my son, the retard, can't read properly. It says cream cheese on the bottle, but little dipshit here can't see that very well. Probably from all the household chemicals he snorts on a daily basis. Is a 13-year-old boy in rebellion against me doesn't uh, uh, respect my authority, probably because I'm his stepfather. That's okay. I broke his Xbox. Fuck him. Now I'm going to put this cream cheese, again, cream starts with a C, retard, on top of this fucking delicious cake. Cheese. That is beautiful. Cream cheese frosting. Okay. okay. Yeah, look at that. Really good. Sure, we can't just eat it without putting You know it how on. great it is being a kid? I love being a kid. You like being a kid? Yeah, too late yeah. now. Can't go back. Well, you know what? Kids are allowed to put their fingers in these things. You don't put your finger in there? No. Oh, you don't want to put your finger in the frosting? Hey, I got another fun game we can play before Mommy gets home. It's called Stick Your Finger in the Electrical Outlet. Trust me, I used to do it when I was younger. I think you'll have a good time. Just stick your, lick your finger first. I'll take it. Uh, let me just take the plate off and just stick it in there. <laughs> it's, it's a really fun game. Trust, trust your stepfather. Go ahead, come on, come on, you're dying to put it in there. Can go, 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 thumb? quickly. No, not your thumb. Come on. Put your finger That's in there. That's big one. <laughs> no, finger only. I... There you go, pull it out. There you go. All right, good thing we're not feeding anybody. Good thing you washed your hands, too, before we did this episode. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's put this. You know, I, I almost wonder now, do you think, like, the reason he undercooks the food is he hates his son so much he's trying to kill him with food poisoning? Is that like the dark lore behind Jack? Has he been trying for the last five years running a YouTube cooking show to murder this kid? So he undercooks chicken to poison him with salmonella? Because he just can't stand his stepson anymore? That, that makes a whole world of sense to me. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. Just, just eat the cream cheese out of the can. Delicious. Delicious. Everybody loves heart disease. All right, there you go. Clearly, clearly these two people fucking hate each other. Oof. Uh, from Palix Tobin, my stepson doesn't respect me, goddammit. 
Uh, apparently he fucking hates his stepson. Russ, daddy, Jack and his kid make me glad my dad tells me he loves me and still tries to give me life advice. I am not sure what's going on with the dynamic there, but uh, yeah, hopefully there are more videos like that. We'll watch another time. Garrett Jeffries, his dad is quoting the words of Gob, or Gob Bluth from Arrested Development in his head. Or jo Job Bluth, Jesus. I've made a huge mistake. Kenneth Woods, do CIA knickers truly glow in the dark or is it simply an optical illusion? Uh, no, they truly glow. Spunk McCullens, Jim, have you ever heard of Jack Scal <laughs> well, Yeah, we're watching him right now. The CKCW? Or, yeah. We are watching the man at the moment. We watched a couple of his videos before. Some kind of awful salad. And cooking raw chicken. Delicious. Who doesn't Who doesn't want to eat raw chicken? Mario Carter 13. Now, son, take this knife and give me a kiss. From 113657 Truck Moon Red Happy Door 12. Michael Klump. Please answer my super chat this time. What is a cutoff height for a manlet? You said long before that Worski was one, right before his gun incident. <laughs> well, clearly the cutoff height, if you wanted to find what a manlet is, it's six feet or under. Now, other people will argue with you about that, but I'm telling you the truth. If you, you know, and you're and you're in dangerous territory between six one and six five. You know, if you're above six five, you're you're safe, really. So anything, I guess, under six five. Three shoe, my parents have MasterCard, you soy goy. From the Burgo 43 bat, stop reading Super Chats, Jim. Probably not the best uh, attempt to make me stop doing it by giving me one. RPG or 90, baked Alaska streaming that he got cucked. Yes, I know he did. I'm actually compiling uh, different stream segments to do that as like a segment. Um, I have his appearance on the Weekly Sweat. I have his uh, D Live streams. I have his tweets from his protected account. Uh, baked Alaska did get cucked. Uh, his girlfriend cheated on him. Uh, and it's some funny stuff. Rodney Ironcock, a fantastic name. Sexton Single Malt Whiskey, don't at me. Cody Rush, hey Jim, I'm sitting next to my Asian girlfriend and we're making hot pot for dinner. Have you tried? And if not, seriously, look into it. Uh, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> oh, I've had hot pot, all right. People heard me have hot pot on stream. About five years back. USC Defiant, back from a night out, so why not Happy Easter, or Happy Easter Jim? From Little Rose Bush, Daddy, no, please read my docs. Das Pooch, let them have their Wakanda dreams. It's the only way they'll ever know it. Jim Crow, you better not have skipped Call Mall Strahl's Super Chat. From Solar Fox, if you want to laugh your ass off, read any fan f fanfic from Little Sonic. I promise you won't be disappointed. It's a treasure trove of comedy. All right. Uh, you know what? Let me do this, Chad. Again, this was meant to be this was meant to be a short fill-in stream that's turned into a super chat stream. Uh, so let me let me just adjust this. So people can't get mad at me. <sighs> there we go. There we are. Super chat by Mr. Minecraft. You know, I'm going to have to start selling some Mr. Minecraft merchandise next. Get the really hot shit. You know, the hip stuff, the cool stuff the kids want. I don't know what that is exactly. Probably Fortnite related or some shit. And just, uh, you know, right next to those uh, donation shrines. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna make it, chat. Move on over to Twitch into the promised land of easy money. Right next to DSP and Destiny. Going to buy me two houses I can't afford. Marry a woman that looks like a plastic Russian doll. And just live the good life. Live the good life of that Minecraft money. Still get in on that boat. Still make it. Victor Phantasm. Boss, will you ever give us a P.O. box for us to send you stuff? Just disguise yours like Life of Boris. Also, Uncle Kage is becoming more SJW. I, I don't want people sending me mail. I'm not giving you a P.O. box. What, what the fuck are you going to send me? And get a bunch of fucked up weird shit. Have to have people do chemical testing on it. Somebody, somebody will do what they did to Wings of Redemption and literally shit in an envelope and mail it. Chris Nemo. I second a deviance on... Oh, the autistic Fluffy. Okay, there we go. A lot of people saying the 405s. Azured Wings, now that Null is dead, you're all that's left. Feed me. I didn't... Oh, I'm pretty sure Josh moved over to DLive, didn't he? Call me straws. Feel free to skip this one. Got me again. 
Rappy Albert, thanks for introducing me to Arlo, and Happy Easter. I know people give the puppet guy shit, but I'm telling you, if I'm going to watch somebody use a puppet to make videos, it's not going to be Dr. Random or Cam. It's going to be fucking Arlo. <laughs> Where are you going to get that hot Nintendo news? Other than a blue furry Muppet. The first or first executioner 779. What do you think of the promised Neverland, Jim? I, I don't know. Icarus Daddy Jim's Outer Heaven Soldier number 24985 reporting. Oh, well, there you go. Jim Crow deport all leaf nibbas. Just a friend. Hey, Jim, what is your opinion if Josh, if Josh from Kiwi Farms? Yeah, people keep asking. Yeah, I'm aware that his uh, YouTube got banned, or one of them did, or his live streaming got shut down, and then I know he moved over to DLive. And I kind of lost track from there. So I don't know if he's banned off DLive or if they're going to let him stream over there. Maybe Josh Josh should come with me to Twitch. I'm telling you, Josh, that Minecraft money, it's fucking lucrative. Kids and their credit cards, Minecraft, Fortnite. What the fuck are we doing? Why are we Why are we dancing around on DLive and YouTube? We can, we can do it. We can out DSP DSP. Just a friend. Hey, Jim, what is your opinion? Oh, I already know that. Mutant Joe, we will defend ourselves. Play in the background. Hey, Jim, check out Four Midgets Relay Race a Camel on YouTube. Great video, worth your time. Four. <laughs> All right, what? Maybe. Ragnar Targren, thanks for making my 12 hour shift less shitty, Jim. Well, I yeah, yeah, 12 hour shifts are fucking brutal. I tried that once. I had a job where I worked three 12 hour days and then. Did the remainder on my fourth day. Ended up just doing four 10-hour days. Much more manageable. I don't know what it is about fucking 12 hours straight that's so goddamn unbearable, but it is. So just keep keep on keeping on. Adrian Garlic. Check out Doey Daniels. He's a YouTube lol cow. I've never heard of him before. Balin Sisk. What does Jad or Daddy Jim think of Beastars getting an anime adapt or adaptation? I didn't even know about that. Pineapple Pizza. My ex never brushed his teeth when we were together. Disgusting. Jack, if you're watching, brush your fucking teeth, you degenerate. Love you, Jim. Well, Jack's probably going to have to get done what Boogie had done, which is his whole fucking mouth getting torn apart and having staples and posts put in and then fake chiclet teeth <laughs> like <laughs> fucking soldered into place so he can eat a banana later on in life. God, that's extreme surgery. Like, I don't think people realize how drastic that surgery is. Every tooth getting pulled out. Every fucking tooth getting yanked out. The gums being ripped apart. Fucking bolts into the bone. Fake fucking prosthetic put in place, stitched on. Oh, God. It's nightmare shit. And I don't think he was completely out for it. I think he was just really gassed up. So I think he was awake while they were doing it. Which sounds like a fucking nightmare. From Swole Dude, love your content, thanks for grooming me. John Glenn, Fatty Caddy is a pay pig incel. Maximilian Mazargo, just Max, you writ, lol. Autumn Matthew, Sargon sex tape, sex tape getting leaked Wednesday. Kang Tut, Boogie's teeth are like Nick Bates' teeth. With the exception that Boogie didn't eat shit. I think, like, Nick Bates is like, his teeth are horrendous, but he actually ate poop. Which is crazy if you think about it, because you'd think if you're going to eat, if you're going to actually eat shit with broken teeth, you'd get all sorts of infections. And yet he really didn't seem to. And yet Boogie, who doesn't eat shit, just eats a lot of junk food, has 18, 14 fucking different things going on. I, I don't get it. Nick Bates has some weird biology, I guess. From we or West Sleeps, Winston's are objectively the best cigarette. Prove me wrong. I can prove you wrong. Go buy some Camels. And have a real cigarette. Magos Explorator Andrux. I don't think any of us are going to forget to brush our teeth after seeing that. Good. Tires of cake. Time to go brush and floss. Roger Smith. Damn it, Jim. Thanks for the nightmare about my teeth. The Eagle Spreach. Have you looked up Oxyhor and the fat not fedora fallout due to stocks underage girls and is a student of the Boulder King? Yeah, somebody sent me an Oxy... Yeah, Oxy... Oxhorn, Oxyhorn, whatever the fuck his name is exposed video but I never got a chance to watch it I understand there's a bunch of weird shit going on a again this is I'll, I'll take a look and maybe on the, the same stream we look at baked getting cucked I'll, I'll look into oxy <laughs> oxy horn I guess ox horn oxy horn whatever alright let me I'm going to read some more of these and then we're going to close it out otherwise you're going to sit and listen to me read this shit 
for the next two hours, and you're going to fucking hate me for it. Because all I made you do tonight is watch a dude get his mouth fucked up and have all his teeth ripped out. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Minecraft made all those innocent children watch a fat man have his teeth yanked out, and they paid him for it. What a monster. Somebody needs to contact Jared Holt and have him write an article real quick about this bizarre corner of YouTube. Played in the background. Don't forget about the midget relay race, Jim. Good stuff. Can they beat the camel? Spunk McCullens. Look up my threads are doing Iron Man numbers. Oh, I know that one. Like, I, 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 that, I know the video you're talking about already. I've seen that. Michael Johnson. The Johnson video you're looking for is on YouTube. From Stars Over Stalingrad, what is your opinion on Steve Bannon? Seems our only hope to save this country in Europe. P.S. Say faceless clerk is a useless Bernie flake. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm sorry. Faceless cleric is a un or useless Bernie. Let me say that properly. Faceless cleric is a useless Bernie flake. There you go. As for Steve Bannon, I don't really have, I don't have an opinion on Steve Bannon. He had his time in the sun, and it seems like it's over. Maybe he can recapture some of it. Maybe he can. <laughs> maybe, maybe he can get some some backing to try to do something. I don't know. Dewey six six six. Hey Jim, look up Rock Doc. He was arrested for giving. Wait, he was arrested for giving arrested for giving out one point four million opiates. He also is a test pilot on YouTube. He was arrested for giving out one point four million opiates. That seems like a fucking ridiculous amount. TK Morgan, is there a reason not to suck suck start a shotgun? Please respawn. Larry Banks, have you seen uh, Sargon Smear Merchant's video? No, I've not. Uh, this totally won't have the media uh, more ammo against him, and this won't be another catalyst for YouTube to crack down on the site with stricter rules. I, I don't watch Sargon's videos, so no, I've not seen that. Sylvan, Cobra Kai is why you're getting my free super chat. Uh, yeah, people people actually enjoy that. I've heard it's pretty decent. Bman94, any chance on more DSP streams? You making fun of his gameplay back in the day was the funniest shit I've ever seen. Um, yeah, it, it's fun once in a while, but I've kind of passed it. There, there are people out there that do DSP streams now. Tevin does them. Uh, other people do them. You can look them up, and they're fairly frequent if you want to watch people uh, having fun at DSP's expense. Uh, take a look. Littlefinger Gillian, do you think uh, Joaquin will surpass Ledger's Joker? Maybe. I think Ledger did a really fantastic job in his portrayal of Joker. It's gonna come on. Uh, it's gonna come down to. It's it, again. It feels like an art house film. So I don't know what to tell you about how the performance is gonna play out. I'm not the guy to ask movie opinions of. I'll be. I'll be honest with you. X kill and or er, X kill Kenny X sixty nine. Take my shekels, Mister Minecraft. I'm gonna read five more here. I, I've tried to hit the majority of them. If I've missed yours, I, again, I'm sorry. Um, I, I try to be pretty on point with these. Uh, I feel like this was a ill-prepared stream, which it was. It was supposed to be our Photon stream, but uh, that had to get shuffled around, and I wanted to try to do at least something so people who were expecting it weren't left blue-balled. Please stop. I'm done looking at gay furry porn. What's up? From Mick D. Lawless. Papa Jim, I give you these shekels. Happy Easter. Dace Vault. From John Stone. Rip Terry Davis. God says sports are homo. Tackle a horse. Oh, let's grab... Uh... I just I hate when this thing scrolls by. Connor B, search furry apocalypse. This is my gift to you, Jim. And finally, manned hard AR 1488. I give you shiny new nickel for pics of Jade's feet. Well, if you join me over on Twitch in between our Minecraft Let's Plays, I'll make sure to have her post her feet pics uh, once a day over there. That that'll be our. That's how we're gonna drive up subs on Twitch. See, I've got it worked out. I understand the economics. Feet picks plus Minecraft plus Fortnite equals profit. I get it. That's how you make it over on Twitch. I'm fucking ready. I'm ready and I'm fucking prepared. Uh, so the Mandar stream will be two weeks from now. I'll have another stream in the meantime, which will be better prepared, I, I promise you, chat. We'll take a look at Baked Alaska getting cucked. We'll delve deeper into Jack's hatred of his child. <laughs> uh, Maybe we'll look at the fluffy shit if I do a video on it. I'll have supplementary material for it. I'll have some stuff worked out. I hope you all had a fantastic Easter. Hope you had a, a good weekend in general. Uh, hopefully your week goes by quickly. 
work isn't a pain in the ass, school isn't a pain in the ass, and you have a nice relaxed time. And I will, I guess, see you next time. The question is, though, what is the outro song? I mean, what the fuck did we end on? Somebody wanted Mortal Kombat. They wanted, they wanted a Mortal Kombat trailer, but I don't think I can do that. I'm going to be honest with you. What? I'm trying to... Get, chat, give me a good suggestion for an outro song. I need help with my audio selection. What, what, what am I going to play us out on? I mean, we've got fuck anime and we've got anime is great. Don't get me wrong. Those are fantastic songs. But I need to expand my arsenal a little bit here. I need, I, I need to get new songs that just, that are, that are good. Oh, I see what you want. I get it. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'll, I'll let this play as the outro song, and then we'll cut it up. I understand this is what you want. <laughs> I get it. I understand, chat. You know what? Fine. You asked for it. You got it. Have a good weekend. I will see you next time. Mandar stream is in two weeks. Again, apologies. My fuck up. We'll, we'll get that sorted out. Video is going up Tuesday, Wednesday. Have a good rest of your, uh, your Sunday. Have a good work week. And uh, I will see you next time.